Welcome back all you sports and gambling fans out there. Today we're doing some more NCAA betting coverage and joining me here, Joe Gavazzi, our SBR contributor. Today the game we're covering here is the Northwestern Wildcats going up against the Indiana Hoosiers. Joe, as always a pleasure to have you here. How you doing today, man? Thanks, Zach. You're doing real well. Always a pleasure to be here doing SBR videos for the guys. All right, fantastic, man. Let's start looking at the, uh, the 15 and 16 Wildcats. Now, at first glance, they don't seem to be a big rival for the Hoosiers. I mean, their, their most recent game uh, was this past Saturday against the Iowa Hawkeyes, and they lost that one 69-52, uh, and they're an even 5-5 five and five in their last 10 games. Now, the deal here is that they did beat Indiana already just last month, 72-65. So with that in mind, Joe, I mean, do you think that they can pull it off again? Well, the Northwestern Wildcats are in a bad situation here. They do have some motivating factors. The recent 5-2 and two straight up an ATS run has brought them to 15-16 and 16 straight up for the season. Beating Indiana and a victory tomorrow would put them over 500 and guarantee them a shot at a three-letter tournament at the end of the year. Obviously, they'll not be going to the NCAAs. This is a team that likes to control the tempo and the pace. It worked last time when they played Indiana on their home floor, resulting in a 72-65 victory. Don't know whether they'll have quite as much success on a neutral court with two teams with very diverse styles. Maybe we should take a look at the Indiana side of the ball. All right, uh, the Hoosiers, they're 19 and 12 for the season, and I think that they're going through some issues. I mean, they're riding on a three-game losing streak, and they've only won four of their last 10 games. Now, their most recent game was against MSU, and they got that one 74 to 72, uh, and, and, and they've actually had a poor 14 and 16 against the spread record. So, I mean, if they want to win in this spot, Joe, what are they going to have to do? They're going to have to control the tempo and the pace. These are two teams who face the game entirely in different ways. Northwestern wants to control it with defense, with their zone, and by playing at a slower pace. Indiana's a go-go 94-foot team who fills it up with three-pointers, averaging over nine a game on over 40% from the arc. That could well work very well on a neutral court against a Northwestern team who allows 38% from the arc. Indiana was a virtual lock to get in the NCAAs just two short weeks ago, but three consecutive straight up and ATS losses, beginning with the loss to Northwestern, has put this team directly on the bubble. It's also set up a situation which gives us an incredibly strong CCT, College Conference Tournament play, in which we find better seeded teams playing as a single digit favor with single revenge for a season loss, coming off a loss with four days rest, and over 75% play if their opponent is also off a loss. This sets up perfectly for bubble team Indiana. Some good value because of the recent performances of these teams and a great situation. Play the Hoosers to get their preferred tempo, knock down some triples. Northwestern has real trouble catching up if that happens. Play Indiana here, minus the four points. Your winner tonight in this one. All right, Joe. Hey, man, as always, good stuff. Thanks for the insights here, the pick. And we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Sounds great, Dex. I'll look forward to it. Good All luck right. out there, guys. All right. Thank you and take care. And hey, everyone else, don't forget to check back with us tomorrow for some more sports coverage and your free picks. Till then, for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd.